<laughs> All right, everybody, we're back from commercial in five, four, three, two. The orchestra, we're live. Look at her. She's the most beautiful girl around. Look how she walks with grace. She has the most beautiful. Gentlemen, will you please give it up for my man, my brother from another mother, your host, Hal Sparks. Woo! That's right. Yes. Yes. What's up? This is video game Vixen. Where yeah. killer animated babes walk down the digital catwalk. But you have got to have more than a nice set of pixels to win this competition. Over the next few weeks, our sexy nominees will prove who has the moves, the style, the attitude of a true Vixen, and we get to watch. <laughs> All right. Today, with the help of our expert panel, we'll choose three more finalists in the quest to crown G4's video game Vixen of 2005. Let's meet the panel. I love them. <laughs> Turning heads in the WWE, rookie diva of 2005, our very own Vixen, Joy Giovanni. Hotness. Hotness. Video game expert, columnist for Electronic Gaming Monthly, John claude Van Damme expert, Sean Baby. Nice. <laughs> I'm just trying to be the best I can be. For me and my Shidoshi. Right. See? <laughs> <laughs> Resident yeah. ladies man, writer, photographer, More. and survivor of MTV's Road Rules. And? and the guy you go to to find out where the babes and hang. Yeah. Hotness in a box. Or <laughs> Jake Bronstein. <laughs> All right, cool. The panelists was in fine form last time when we selected our first batch of finalists. Today, three more will join them. Very exciting. You know, it's one thing to have a great body, but if a girl can't move in time to the music, then I want no part of it. No, not going anywhere near it. But check out our dirtiest dancer. Yuna, Final Fantasy X-2. Not so much dirty as promy, but uh, entire outfit cut from a dickie from a tuxedo in 1976. You said a dick? No, I did. <laughs> it's so not dirty. Tina, Dead or Alive, Extreme Beach Volleyball, DOA 3. Uh, very, I don't know. Camel toe. Good night. I don't know, that's good. I just want to salute, right? Why am I saluting? Parts of me are saluting right now. <laughs> Becky, Rumble Roses. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's subtle. If we can't get the camera under her, we'll turn her over. Oh, that was good. <laughs> One, two, three, I'm out. I'm... Ooh la la, Space Channel 5. Do, 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 do. It's a little Austin Powersy, but not bad. Oh, not bad. I kind of think that thing in the back is sexy. Oh, a little purple roly poly yeah. It's like D-Light. Some of her backup dancers are sexier it's than she is. like D-Light. Aisha, Rumble Roses. I see what the rumbling is all about. <laughs> Again, I like the bling. Right? Is that yeah. dancing, really? That's Gyration. That's simulated sex. Doing a pinch. With bling. Yeah, she's ready to throw down. Mm. Dirtiest dancer. Now, um, there's a lot of dirty dancing going on there. Dancing. Some dirtier than the next. You know, from Final Fantasy, it wasn't so dirty. It was, uh, Not like so much. Like she, a fourth grade talent show. It's just like a, motion. Or like a canto pop concert. Sexiest? What do you think? Uh, I would vote for all, but I only brought... So many ones. Joy, <laughs> who gets the money shot? I don't know. I kind of toss between Aisha and There's Tina. No toss. Yeah. Just yeah, choose. Aisha's, yeah. 50 50. Uh, Tina. 
Yeah, yeah. say Tina. I'm with you. Wow. She had the whole... I don't know, Aisha, American part, flag. parts of her on. body dance separate from the rest of her body that's <laughs> dancing, which I think is extra credit, uh, that kind of thing. Our judges are going to rate the Vixens on a scale from 1 to 10. The Vixen with the highest score moves to the finals. The others are left out on the dance floor alone to be shamelessly hit on by guys like me. They're going to vote like the wind. We're going to take a break, and we'll get the results when we get back. Stay tuned. In an effort to aid men in their gaming purchases, the ESRB has altered our content rating system. Games appropriate for men who are adults, but who simply refuse to grow up, will now be rated I. Suitable only for the immature. Brought to you by Tag Body Spray for Guys. Consider yourself yours. In an effort to aid men in their gaming purchases, the ESRB has altered our content rating system. Games that are basically harmless, but you wouldn't want your significant other to catch you playing, will now be rated everyone but your girlfriend. Welcome back to Video Game Vixens, the pageant where I've slept with all of the contestants. And by slept, I mean I played all their games to the point of passing out with Cheeto dust on my fingers and root beer in my belly. No. <laughs> <laughs> During the break, our huh? panel voted on who they thought was the dirtiest dancer. Let's go see the score. Come on. Dirtiest dancer. Tied for fourth place, Becky and Ooh La La. Third place, Yuna. Second place, Aisha. And the winner is Tina. With a score of 8.9, her blood type's O, and now she is Miss Dirtiest Dancer, Tina. Nobody put Tina in a corner. Mm. Tina has secured a spot in our coveted final round. Yay for her. Now, we didn't want our panelists having all the judgmental fun, so we opened up several categories where you can go online to g4tv.com, check out the Vixens, weigh in, tell us what you think. All right, all of our Vixens are beautiful, but it's been said that the devil is in the details. Each of these women has a curious little toy that adds to her appeal, but only one of them can bring home the title of kinkiest accessory. The shawl? No, the double sword, too. Oh. She you want to buy her over to the house for Thanksgiving. Yeah. Because she's got two swords, she, kinky. She I fillets, know. she slices, dices, she makes decorative tomatoes, and julienne's fries. Mr. Spencer, Rumble Roses. Mm -hmm. A riding prop. Yes, Matthew. I like that she's Spencer. beaten the cowgirl with yeah, that outfit. Got kind of a, yeah, I haven't seen those clothes since. I gotta go way back to Gunsmoke. Clown hater. Ivy, Soul Caliber 2. That sword is amazing, but I hate it because it kills me all the time. I can go into the floor and come up on this side. I hate you, Ivy. I hate you. But it does have a rope in it, so she could tie you up technically. Her and I, Red Ninja, End of Honor. This is a, this is the Ted skin, which is basically this big wire guillotine. Oh, kinky. Sweetheart, I want to try something new tonight. Cut me in half. Mistress Suki, Outlaw Golf 2. Oh. This is Puddin. Puddin. Her gift caddy. Oh, she kicks in the nuts and rides, and he jumps and around. I love it. Bamboo. Get out the gym. She also has a riding crop, so she gets extra credit, I think. That's pretty spectacular. You know, you can say what you want about our audience, but they know kinky when they see it. Let's see who the viewers <laughs> chose. Mistress Suki and Puddin. Mistress Spencer and her riding crop. Lucia and her twin blades. Kuranai and her Tetsugan. And the winner, scoring 8.8, .8 is Ivy from Soul Calibur 2. Well done. So the people have spoken, and they've said, whip me till it hurts, and use your sword on me as you might. Did the gamers get it right? No. I don't think so either. Can they see? And if they can, why? Yes, right. <laughs> they should be blinded for their insolence. 
kinkiest yeah. accessory. How could you get a more kinky accessory than your own than pudding? Gimp yeah. caddy. Yeah. The gimp yeah. caddy. Yeah. 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 yeah, useful as well Game as ornamental. Pudding. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Accessorize and everything. You can use them for a golf cart. Right. I think those clothes alone on him, the, the, the biker shorts, the leather biker shorts, and the <laughs> suspenders, that's kinky enough. That's he had grass stains on his knees. What grass. more do you want? Exactly. Remember, next week's viewers' choice category is already posted at g4tv.com, so hop online, tell us which sweet young vixen is the baddest good girl. All right? Okay, we've got more perfectly percolated pixels coming up after the break. Right now, go go find a kinky accessory and dance with you. A little-known scientist, Dr. Juan Shan Li, raced to be the first to capture the jiggle that had fascinated him since his youth. Fearless leader through the dangerous world of computerized women. If you're like me, and you are, there's been a moment when you wish that video game vixens were real. For most of us, this little daydream quickly passes. But for one of our viewers, this fantasy became a calling. Take a look at the latest tape we have received from that strange little creature we refer to as the Vixen Hunter. There's nothing I love more than vixens. For some reason, this really made my girlfriend jealous. She said, if you like these vixens so much, why don't you date one? I took that as a challenge. Call me the vixen hunter. Sure, the girls of Rumble Roses are sexy as hell, and who doesn't love a good ninja? But a real life vixen's gotta be able to handle one thing. A gun. This is Enforcement Trainer Z, where they teach you to shoot some real cool weapons. What the? Lay it on me. Does size matter? Absolutely, honey. See, this is a nice size for us. That's a big gun. And you want to see what I'm packing? Sure. Well, I got here, this is a nice classic baby. Sky blue, sleek design. show you a little something. This. Hot, not, and, oh, let's fix that now. Two hands over here. There you go. Yeah. Ow. This right. might be how you shoot a target, but when you're messing with zombies, you need a little something extra. A little dance. Boom! You want some of the dance? You want a piece of this play? Here it comes! Bah! 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 Dang, that That's works. Dang. Shoot him in the nuts! Oh! This is the guy my ex-girlfriend left me for. Uh, Would you do the honors and take care of it for me? You know I will. Oh, nice shot! What do you say me and you go somewhere quiet where we can go shoot something? I, I can't hear you. I said, you want to go out? I, I, I still can't hear you. Rejected like a bad liver. Not surprisingly, actually. Uh, next week, the Vixen Hunter should have his hands quite full. We're sending him to the world's biggest video game convention, and that place is crawling with Vixens. Trust me. Video game Vixens are like Pam Anderson. They owe a large portion of their appeal to advancements in technology. Mm -hmm. On this show, we strive not just to entertain, but to educate. So we now bring you a look at the science behind our favorite Vixens. Iconoclastic designer Tobonubu Itagaki rocked the video game world with a breakthrough known as the Jigger. DOA is like a sushi bar, but roller skating girls serving wasabi on the sushi. <laughs> While Itagaki was developing his now famous technology, a little known scientist, Dr. Huan Shan Li, raced to be the first to capture the jiggle that had fascinated him since his youth. I was always more interested in the breasts around me than in my schoolwork. Video games provided a justifiable environment for this research. 
The difficulty was finding the perfect simulation. I spent several years testing a variety of materials. I discovered a combination of ingredients that truly captured the feminine jostle men devoted their lives to. It was the same ingredients as lime-flavored jello. Quan Shan then began the delicate process of testing the results in the field. The breasts need to respond naturally, both at rest and at the height of martial arts combat. The tests were an instant success. But like many geniuses, his star burned a little too bright. On the eve of his biggest success, he received a devastating blow. Quan Shan's patent was denied when he foolishly ate his only working model. A week later, Itagaki released Dead or Alive, and Huang Shan's life's work was made obsolete. Every day I asked myself, how could I be so hungry that I ate away my own career? Sadly, there's always room for Jello. I can't. I can't. Today, Huan Shan is all but forgotten. However, he blazed a jiggling trail that will be followed for years to come. The sad thing is I'm still finding Jello in the most unexpected places in that sketch. Um, Joy, did you learn anything from that? Did you? I mean, you know a lot about Jiggle, more than the rest of us, I think. I think you definitely reinforced the point that there's always Jello. Yes, Cal. there always is. I'd yes. love to see you Jiggle. Thank you. <laughs> That's sweet. <laughs> uh, guest starring in that sketch was, of course, Itagaki, the, uh, the Japanese game designer who's, who basically created the jiggle. Like, he's responsible for the kind of... He paved the way for the uh, fat guy driving over speed bump simulator. Exactly. That's Fantastic true. Game. He probably is responsible for Puddin', but we won't hold that against him. <laughs> <laughs> I miss Puddin'. I do, too. Where are you, Puddin'? Okay. We got to take a break, but when we get back, we crown the Vixen with the most dangerous curves. Video Game Vixen continues next Tuesday, 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific. In an effort to aid men in their gaming purchases, the ESRB has altered our content rating system. We will now remind you of the surprising ages of the girls you're drooling over. These games are rated still a teen. We're back to Video Game Vixen, a tribute to the power of 3D graphics. Or is that uh, 34D graphics? <laughs> I'm Al Sparks. Let's not forget our expert panel, WWE diva Joy Giovanni, Sean Baby, and the wild man. <laughs> Some video game characters not only have bodies to die for, they have bodies to kill with. Here are the nominees for most dangerous curves. Uh, Dixie, Rumble Roses. Yeah, dangerous curve with a wedgie, apparently. Dangerous. That's good. No. Um, <laughs> dangerous and subtle. I'm getting mixed signals from her. <laughs> she wants two tickets to the gun show, clearly. Kasumi, dead or alive, three. I'm dainty. Mm -hmm. Let me be your leaf blower. She has an amazing move, though, that's, you know, Dang. look at that, where she stomps his face. <laughs> it's like prom memories for me. Rain, blood rain, too. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. She's very curvaceous. Now that's fine. She's fine. Those are fake. That girl looks good. They're real. Yeah, They're real nice. They're real, nice. They They're real they big. I like how another blood stick to it. Christy Montenegro, Tekken 4 and Tekken 5. The Renaissance woman. Yes, she is. She gets around. And she fights Caboera style, which is pretty cool. Mm. So she's got rhythm. Rhythm is a dancer. <laughs> Rachel, Ninja Gaiden. Who looks like a cheerleader at an S and M convention? And uh, who uh, Vaseline her? What is that? She looks like a Krispy Kreme. She's been fighting the Vaseline monster. Fighting butter. 
Okay, most dangerous curves. Doggy. I know. Oh, gosh. They all look pretty dangerous. Pretty dangerous. Yeah. Blood rain. Pretty curvy. Blood rain? Blood rain is covered in goo. That's true. And spurted out of a wound. <laughs> that's his danger to me. That's uh, how I was raised. That's true. <laughs> I have rain definitely looks dangerous and curvy. The other girls kind of look a little a little friendly face. Uh -huh. You know? Rain has got that fierce. Right. Dangerous look about Yeah, her. you think you like her though? You like yeah, her for like her. All right on. I'm gonna choose her. Okay. What do you think, Dick? I am I am taken with Kasumi. I would vote for her for anything right now. That's true. You yeah. would. I'll vote for her for free plane ticket to yeah. the States if she sure. lived in President the if I could. I would go with sort of Rachel because her dangerous no. curve looks like you could slip right no. off of them and you're deaf, you know. Yes. She would be in the next very dangerous. Dangerous. Seriously. <laughs> okay, while our panelists cast our votes, let's kick it over to DJ Melo D and our very own DDR dancer. All right, break it down like it's your last two quarters. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mom thinks you're at school. Let's I need to give it make it last. A four. Go. 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 Okay. The votes have been tallied. Let's look at uh, who came in first. Hmm? Most dangerous curves. Fifth place, Dixie. Fourth place, Christy. Tied for second place, Kasumi and Rachel. And the winner with a 9.7 rain from Blood Rain, the woman who put some real danger in those curves. Amazing. Couldn't have happened to nicer undead. I know, that's true. Especially. Mm -hmm. And you must be happy. Jake, though. Sad. Kasumi. Yeah. You could console her. I could. I could. <laughs> she should know. You could make I'm her feel better. The bus station. And, uh, <laughs> Wait. Yeah. You would do that? You would buy her a bus ticket? <laughs> well, that's where I live. But yeah, so awesome. I would also buy her a bus ticket. That's sweet. All right. So rain moves on, giving a little bit of goth edge to our finalists. Spectacular. Um, <laughs> she joins Miss Kinkiest Accessory, Ivy, Miss Dirtiest Dancer, Tina, and our three winners from last week in the final, Miss Dressed to Kill, Kasumi, so don't miss the best, Miss Best Booty, Laura Croft, and Miss Sexiest Finish, Summer. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> Next week, we'll select the last three Vixens to make the leap towards the title of G4 Video Game Vixen of 2005. Until then, remember to cast your vote for the baddest good girl at G4TV.com. And then tune in next week to find out who walks away with that title, the naughty, naughty girl that she is. Thanks so much to our panel, Joy Giovanni, Sean Baby, Jake Bronstein. I'm so excited. You guys excited to come back next week? Yeah. Can't wait. And be judgmental? Yeah. Can't wait. <laughs> I'm Al Sparks, your host, and don't forget to put down your game console before you take a cold shower, because you will die. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> uh -oh. Ooh.